Now on the Rick Van Man channel, we head down to the allotment where Rick continues his ongoing journey into growing his own food. Hey there, this is Rick. I hope everyone's having a great day. I hope that uh, you can hear me okay with the microphone. Maybe slightly dodgy sound on this video because I'm just using the little microphone that's plugged into the Hero 2. Uh, so the sound quality might not be up to its usual scratch because I'm not going to be using my um, my Zoom microphone today. Right, so the soil has now arrived. It's quite early on in the morning. It's well, so uh, nearly 11 o'clock and I need to start ferrying it down to the allotment along with my eight paddling pools or seven paddling pools at, um, at the moment. So, uh, right, we need to hit the road, hit the ground running and uh, let's get cracking. Yeah, it's all looking a lot drier. It's still looking waterlogged, but nowhere near as bad as it was. That's a good thing. Qu quality controlled and naturally produced. Screened and packed in Norfolk. And uh, like I said, I've got 40 bags of that. Now, 40 bags aren't really going to go that far, but uh, hopefully they'll be enough to get me kick-started. And then maybe I'll either get some more or, like I say, I've got some... Uh, one ton bags there. If I can find some decent soil somewhere on the allotment, uh, I might be able to sort of scoop some of that into it and see what happens. We'll see. Looks like I might be having some condensation problems where the polythene meets the polythene. Now, I've decided I'm not going to put holes in this because uh, the only water that's going to be going in here is the stuff I physically put on myself. So as long as I don't overwater it, there should be no need for excess to drain. And uh, I think it might uh, just make life a little simpler. And I can always add holes later on if I find that I need them. But um, regarding uh, where this is like plastic on plastic I'm not quite sure what to do I have bought some sheets of cardboard with me and I'm just trying to debate whether putting a sheet of cardboard down would do any would be useful at all or whether it would just be a space for critters and creatures to hide um, I really don't know but I think this is going to sweat whatever happens I don't think that's going to be uh, I'm going to be able to avoid that and that, whether that kind of goes rotten later on um, I just don't know I'm not sure what to do there. I think I'm just going to have to put up with it and uh, I'll try to dry it off as best as I can, put this stuff down and uh, once the soil has gone on it, it should be pressed together quite nicely but I'm pretty sure the water is going to end up wicking inside underneath but I really don't think there's anything I can do about it. Um, not really. So I think I'll, I probably won't do anything apart from give it a dry, give it a wipe and then we'll go from there. Right, I think I'm going to start up at this end with the uh, grapevines, just so I get my spacing right, so I can utilise the maximum amount of space um, with the paddling pools. Like I say, I've got eight of them all together, but uh, I'm not going to fill this up with eight. I think I can get ten in here. I'll have to get some more. Uh, like I say, but I've also got those one-ton bags, so it'll be an interesting experiment to see how long they last as well. Anyway, better get on with it. Now. Let's take a look at this soil. Now it, it seemed like a bargain, well not really a bargain, it was still bloody expensive but it was the cheapest place I could find on the net uh, to have delivered. So I'm, at the moment at this stage I have no idea what I bought for the quality but we should get a look at it and have a look. Alright oh, okay well that's, let's get my gloves out of the paddling pool there. That's not too bad, it's quite dark, it's not as dark as perhaps uh, a really, really rich soil would be, but it's, it's quite sandy, uh, it's got a few tiny little root type twigs in, but overall it looks quite good, it looks alright. That's definitely topsoil anyway, not compost, uh, or more, more topsoil in there than there is compost, so it should do quite well, hopefully.
so there we go it's not exactly round I suppose with water you'll have a consistent pressure pushing out in all directions so you'll get a perfectly round pool but obviously you haven't quite got the uh, the even pressure with this so I might have to work a little bit on just getting the, the shape of the pool but there we go now obviously straight away I can see my issues are going to be a little bit of reaching out this is a four foot pool they say you're only supposed to have um, if you haven't got access from both sides ideally you only need two foot wide but they don't do two foot wide paddling pools um, so this is the smallest I could get but that's not so bad because I can I could perhaps even put some tomato plants at the back there because to part, tomato plants don't need deep um, ground to grow in obviously you can grow tomatoes in grow bags which are only that thin so I think what we'll have here is salad crops at the front tomatoes at the back and that'll be lovely right let's do another one Right then, that's uh, only three bags in that one. I've run out now, I've got to go back to the house and get some more. I can only really bring about 10 bags at a time with me, so I'm gonna to have to make four trips. So, I'll head back, get some more. Okay, we're back for round two. Okay, there we go. Looking good so far. Uh, I'm out of soil again, so I'm gonna have to go back to the house and get some more. Right, I'm back for, uh, from another run, and uh, I've got another eight bags of soil and some more, well, the rest of my paddling pool. Right then, so five bags, five bags, four bags, four bags, four bags. It doesn't seem to make a huge amount of difference whether you put five or four bags in. And if I'm only growing salad vegetables, uh, then four bags looks like it'll be plenty uh, because it doesn't need to be very shallow. I mean, basically you can grow anything in these that you can grow in a grow bag. Um, and a grow bag is only generally about, you know, a couple of inches tall. So. Uh, that's fine that leaves me with a few extra bags which is good not quite sure what to do there because that's not big enough for or well, that space is not big enough for one more of these but I would be able to fit one of my rectangular one ton bags there I think so I think that's what I'll do I'll put a one ton bag there and then I need to think about what to do on this side um, I've still got this stuff to put back out on the uh, on the ground out there I'm sort of need it to dry out a bit more before I do that. Got another one in, I've run out of soil again. But I'm gonna have a little play with these. This is um, my one ton bags, let's have a look. Now here's a thing, if I fold that, fold that over, that's going to be ideal homes for slugs, isn't it? So what I need to do is cut that, I need to physically cut it at the height I want it to be. Anybody got any ideas what I can use this for? Seems a shame to throw it away. Get me other paddling pools and uh, I'll just go and fit those. Now I need to go back and get some more soil. Oh, 
that's better. I've just had something to eat, and uh, I've just had a little, a little um, Japanese pot noodle and a nice uh, cup of tea with a few sugars in it. So I feel like I've uh, refueled a bit, got a bit more energy again now. So I'm just heading on back to the allotment again, and uh, got another load of soil. I've got one more load to do, and then we're done. sure I like this arrangement it's a bit haphazard um, I mean the bag is supposed to be square but obviously you've got equal pressure with the weight pushing out equally so you end up with this square trying to be a circle and to be honest I think I'm gonna be better off dumping this soil into one of these because these are the structurally these are gonna be better for it now if I fill one of these fully up I mean that's a uh, that's about 12 inches I'm pretty sure that will be fine for most root vegetables, like carrots and things like that. So I think, I'm, I'm, no, I'm definitely not happy with this. I'm glad I tried it, but I'm not happy with it. But I will try it outside with soil that I've dug up from the ground. I'll, I'll see if I can um, uh, condition some of the soil I actually have out there in the ground. So I'll, I'll leave these to, to go outside. Although, being outside, um, we've got the issue again of ultraviolet these are only going to be good for a year although what I could do is uh, cut up these and actually if I fill these up I can actually have the, the polythene um, protecting the layer so I should get um, you know the, the, so the polythene the polythene will take the brunt of the ultraviolet and this will be safe so I think that's worthy of experimentation but I shall do that outside on another day I think I'm going to shift this and I'll probably put it into there just because it's nearby um, and I'll, I'll brim this one up and then this one can be my root vegetable garden. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. I'm glad I tried it. Right then, so that's job done for today uh, well at the moment I'm still gonna do something else in a second but uh, this is what I mean by um, very low on the FAF scale if you haven't already seen my video on what the FAF scale is I'll put a link at the end of this video basically I've been here uh, since about 11 o'clock this morning I've been doing this it's now uh, getting on towards 4 so 7 12 1 2 3 4 that's 5 hours in 5 hours I have a polytunnel full of raised beds now that's my idea of something on the low faff scale i've done it inside you know just a short amount of time and we're basically ready to plant i'm going to add a few extra bits to the soil to make it uh, a little bit better but um but yeah this is what i mean by um uh trying to keep things simple straightforward there was no major faffing around with this everything here was delivered to my house um, yes there was some money involved i did make it an investment um but uh you know it was literally a case of assembling everything and chucking the soil in and I would say this was like a faff two <laughs> at the very most and uh, that's that's exactly what I want my growing year to be like this year uh, right okay I've got some rock dust let me just go and get it and I'll come back now I had a lot of people uh, get in touch with me and say look into rock dust and uh, I one of the YouTube channels I watch all the time is uh, growing your greens uh, with John and I can't remember his surname but uh, he swears by rock dust so I did a little bit of homework and I looked into rock dust and it does look like a bloody good product so I thought I would give it a go this year now basically what happens is um, when you grow things in the soil it takes nutrients and things out of the soil and um, I know when you grow agriculturally um, when it, and it's not organic what happens is the nutrients do not get replaced in the soil and all they do is they end up replacing, I think there's like four basic nutrients that they, they replace. So you end up with fruit and vegetable that looks like what it's supposed to look like, but it's really, really seriously lacking in you know the proper nutrients. And this is where 
rock dust comes into the equation. Now apparently these uh, rocks are you know, sort of millions of years old and they basically pounded up and crushed up and uh, they are full of all of these trace elements and minerals and nutrients that the, the plants and everything really, really need. Uh, now this stuff I've got is called Sears rock dust. I managed to find it online and it's it's not that expensive. It's not as, well, it is expensive, but it's not as expensive as I was expecting it to be. So I don't know, yeah, I thought so. It's inside a, let's test it out. There we go. This stuff, yeah, let's just wind the camera down a bit. All right, it's called Sia Rock Dust. And this is, I think this is about the only version that's available in the UK um, and notice how it's spelt Sia as in uh, a Sia this is like um, you know in the shamanic term um, okay and basically I've, I've watched the video on how they distribute it and basically what you do is you just cover um, your soil with it just just sort of you know half an inch all over and then you just dig it in so I'm going to give that a go now and uh, yeah as you used to grow bumper mineral rich crops at the Sea Centre. Now because I'm trying to do everything organic this year, I'm hoping I should have some really, really healthy crops. Oh, it looks like this. It's just a, just a grey grit really. Right, let's start spreading it around and uh, see how we get on. So that's covered. I'm just going to mix it in now. Okay, so now this bed is officially ready for planting. Like I said, I've done this one extra, extra deep. This is 12 inches deep. And this is going to be um, used for root vegetables, I think, carrots, parsnips, things like that. Excellent. I've just got to do the other ones now, and then we're done. Okay, so that's it for the day and now I have got another um, uh, packet of rock dust but I want to use that outside on the outside bed so what I've done is I've got it in all of these beds except this one now this is going to be my control bed and it'll be very interesting I think what I might do is whatever I grow in these I'll grow one or two in this bed as well just to compare just to see whether there is a, a difference or not or a noticeable difference this is pretty much it for today. Uh, I was going to do the rock dust tomorrow, but apparently the weather's going to break tomorrow and we're going to get rough weather, so I thought I'd better get uh, everything that I can do today done. Um, I can come back now and plant up uh, whenever I want. I've got my eye on starting to get some green leafy vegetables and um, tom um, lettuce and, and sort of leafy things and salad-y things started up. Um, I shall come back in my leisure and do those and no doubt I'll film it when I do it. Okay, that's it from me guys. I'm not sure how long this video is. It's probably quite a long one again, so thanks for watching if you got this far. Well, thanks for watching if you didn't get this far. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm out of here guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care.